Deep Space Nine tackles the issue of metaphysics and telepathy. And uh, Cisco builds a clock. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Seventh Rule with your stars, Aaron Eisenberg and Sirach Lofton. Look at them. Sirach is looking awesome. My name is Ryan T. Aaron is too. I'm wow. Ryan. Wow. Wow. Thanks. Uh, this is The Seventh Rule. <laughs> We're going to cover Dramatis Personae, directed by Cliff Bowl. But first, before we get into any of that, we want to uh, hear something from Aaron. Aaron, what about JJ? Oh, yeah. What was it that I want to talk about? You know, I bet I'm going to say the same thing on our next show as well. I'm going to make several predictions about our next show that's coming up. Um, So we have an artist that did the artwork for our show, The Seventh Rules. You can see Ryan, the Ryan Husk poster behind him. It's actually based on a uh, postcard social media piece. Um, He looks like a superhero in that one. Um, And uh, his name is, the artist is J.J. Lendl. Here's another piece of his artwork that he did. Very, um, what was it? RK um, Radio? RKO. RKO, that's it. RKO, RKO, yeah. Randy K. Orton. Very, uh, a a great style. We have posters. We have a a lot of wonderful things to offer on Teespring. Moichendizen. So anyway, I want to give a shout out to our our wonderful artist, J.J. Lendl. Please visit his website at jjlendl.com. That's www.jjlendl.com. Amazing artist. He's got a lot of great stuff on his website. X-Files. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, other Star Wars and Star Trek uh, artwork. It's, he's just a great, a great guy and a great artist. So, and uh, jumping on that, uh, a lot of his art is available on uh, merchandise, T-shirts, mugs, socks, things like that. Of the Seventh Rule at our Teespring uh, online store. That's teespring.com slash the Seventh Rule, or just click in the description box below. Actually, it's kind of like angled right there below. Um, and uh, check out all of our goodies that we've got. Lastly, Ciroc, we were Wait, talking, what? I, were, weren't you going to let Ciroc tell about his his hat um, sell, uh, uh, website? He's got a whole bunch of different hats that he <laughs> <laughs> I do not. I do not. Mm. No, but we did want to hear about your uh, your jersey and where that comes from, because there's an extra E at the end of the NBA there. Oh, yeah. This is a vintage Clippers jersey, circa... I don't know, 2013, <laughs> probably. Circa. 2009. It's been Circa. a while. So I got a chance to play in this NBA Entertainment League, which is this league started by the NBA for entertainers. And uh, I got involved with it through uh, my basketball friends, Dwayne Martin specifically. And um, I got a chance to play with a lot of uh, people that I watch on TV and films, guys like Adam oh. Sandler. Guys like Will Ferrell, Ice Cube was in the league. Michael um, Chiklis there? No, Michael Chiklis did not show up. God, he was in a professional bowling league. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I did go to the championship. Brian's bowling. best <laughs> joke. <laughs> you love the low bar. <laughs> no, but that sounds like a lot of awesome people. And you guys did really well. Your team did, right? This team went to the finals. We lost in the finals. We played at UCLA. And, uh, you know, actually the year I was playing on this team, because I actually have, uh, every year they switch up the team that you play for. Mm-hmm. And one year I got a chance to play for the Lakers, uh, just by, you know, the random draw of it. But long story short, the year I was playing on this team, the Clippers, uh, I broke Leonardo DiCaprio's foot <laughs> by accident. Out of anger. <laughs> Completely by accident. Because he what said Star it. Trek instead of Star Trek. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he said he loves Nog more than Jake. <laughs> no, no, he he didn't say anything. We were just playing, and you know, it was it was really fun to have him there because he wasn't always showing up to play at the games. But didn't make it to the said, practices. What a punk! Uh, no, but he decided to play that day, and uh, I was on the court against him, and he jumped up to get a rebound, landed on my foot. Uh, and just snapped his ankle about as hard as you could. Oh. So they called the ambulance, pulled him out on a stretcher. It was terrible. Wow. wow. It was so terrible. I'm just you picturing are... you going, I didn't yeah. do anything. I swear. I I, he landed on my foot. And uh, so I felt so bad about it. Um, they stopped production on the, the film he was doing at the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
it literally, literally stopped production. And uh, I remember seeing him after that uh, at a restaurant that my girlfriend was working at. And she said, uh, Leonard, uh, Leo's there with Giselle. And I'm like, where? She said, in the back, in the booth over there. I said, I got to go say he's sorry. Because <laughs> he, he rolled out on a stretcher. I didn't have the chance to talk to him really. So, and when you uh, got there, you saw Sylvester Stallone. No, wait, it wasn't Sylvester. It was Mike Tyson was there with him. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was like, <laughs> and you're like, I, I'm not welcome no, in this room. Starting no, to see a I, pattern I, here with you. No, Sarah. no, no. I didn't know there was nothing there. He was totally cool about it. Uh, and actually, I think I was looking at Giselle so much that I might have offended him. But uh, it was pretty amazing. It was pretty. Pretty fun that times. That is league. really funny. That yeah. is why you have been blacklisted. Well, I'm going to help you. Get it. <laughs> I get it now. First is yes. Mike yeah, Tyson. It. Now it's now, right. now it's Leonardo right. DiCaprio. He's right. going everywhere. Don't hire that guy from Star Trek. Do not hire. <laughs> and they said the short guy. No, the tall guy. The, the Do tall not guy. hire him. Yeah. You know, right now for the for the three or four NBA fans in our entire audience. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. know that rule. It's called the landing space rule, right? The shooter's landing space that's been implemented. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, there is he wasn't he, for that. Well, yeah. there is a rule for that, but he he wasn't shooting. I we were both getting a rebound. And oh, he, I see. So it wasn't yeah, we were, like it wasn't like James Harden throwing his feet out at you. No, no, it wasn't like that. No, and it wasn't like me like Zsa Zsa Pachulli trying to run under. You were the original Zsa Zsa. <laughs> Zsa Zsa Gabor. I thought no. Zsa Gabor was on the team. There's like, another Zsa Zsa, <laughs> interestingly enough. <laughs> you would think there's Zsa only Zsa one. Gabor would be on my no, team. No, the other Zsa Zsa, Pachuli. <laughs> hmm. we, would, so, we, would, we would have all the all – the, all the, we would have uh, – oh, never mind. It'll take too long to say that joke. But <laughs> that's are you my sure favorite that's not NB Aaron. Aaron Eisenberg on your shirt? I think it's NB Aaron Eisenberg. Uh no, that's exactly yeah, NB, oh yeah, you know what? Aaron Eisenberg. It could be. It could be. See in the NB Aaron Eisenberg League. Yes, yes. Five two and under. We gotta figure out what NB stands for. <laughs> no ballers. <laughs> uh, Ryan is on fire. Oh, today. you're on fire on today. Fire. No, that's not uh, so the, the hoop is like five feet lower. You know, to help everybody, help us out. He's still on fire. He's come on, give him, <laughs> give him a break. Oh man! So yeah, that's that's the the story behind this jersey. <laughs> that's oh, awesome. I liked it. That was a good story. No ballers, Aaron Eisenberg. <laughs> 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 Have to be five uh, two or under to participate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I actually had fun six. in that league. I won a championship with the Lakers. And that was like the highlight of my basketball career. So, oh, really? I, I, yeah. So I, I did get to live out a dream um, just by being in that league. So I'm really thankful for that. Thanks. Shout out to the NBA for developing that league and and giving us a chance to mingle with each other and and a lot of us got to play basketball with each other and make friends. So did I it really end that. or it it did end. Yeah. Aww. Mm. It did end. Shooting guard, right? Shooting it guard. End, did it end when Leonardo DiCaprio broke his ankle? No, that didn't end it, ironically. No, that <laughs> wasn't the thing. Uh, and I, I'd rather not get into what ended it oh, okay. because it's, oh, kind, it's, it's kind of a little ho- Hollywood po- politics of it. Um, but, but the NBA pulled the plug on it. It went on to become just the E-League, which is the mm-hmm. entertainment league. And I think it's still going on, as a matter of fact. I think Chris Brown and a couple other people play in it. But mm-hmm. um, it was a lot more fun when it was the NBA league because sure. of the affiliation and all the legit uh, merchandise that came with it. And, Sirach, you said you're, you're shooting guard, yeah? A shooting guard, yeah. I uh, usually yeah. play center. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Usually. They score a lot. The other team scores a lot. But that's where, <laughs> I, that's where I, I do my best work is. Nice. Right <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm a shooting guard, six three, six four. I could play point two, mm-hmm. and I could play forward. But um, it depends on how tall, tall the other guys are on the team. You know what I mean? Yep. I've played with really big guys, and and I have to play point guard. And then I play with smaller guys, and I'm the center. So it depends. So for those of you, except when you home, play with me, I'm the center. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Except for, for when we're together, that still that are still <laughs> watching and listening, we're going to talk about Star Trek now. <laughs> yes, let's get to Star Trek. <laughs> All right, let's Although get. No, this it. was it's fun. It's fun uh, shooting the trek. It's fun shooting the trek. Yeah. So Cliff Bowl, you guys have any uh, 
not at memories all. Memories of Cliff Bowl, the director, or maybe Bole. That's true. I don't think it is Bole though. But no, I don't actually. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel I feel a little guilty. I don't have a lot of memories about a lot of directors and what it was like working with them, except for a few of them. Les Landau, obviously, mm-hmm. for obvious reasons. Um, well, they they had notes to to avoid you, so that was why you didn't really have too oh, much. I understand. With Thank you. See, I didn't know that, so now I don't feel bad. I used to <laughs> feel bad my whole life. I felt bad that I didn't remember everybody. I remember uh, Alan Croker, but but you and uh, I weren't in this episode, so I mean, it, you know, it would be hard to remember. Chris, who wasn't like, and a lot of times we had reoccurring directors. So yes, guys like David Livingston would come a lot, you know. And, and I, yep, yeah, yep. and so and so we had a lot of uh, recurring directors, and that's why you got to know other guys more than others. Correct. Um, but with this guy, uh, Mollet, Cliff Bowl, Cliff Bowl, Cliff Bowl. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall Wonder, too much interaction. With I him. thought, I thought I did do an episode with him though. Um, I'll, I'll check it out. Oh, I was going to tell too. us what you think of the episode while I, I look at this. Dramatis Personae. Mm-hmm. He did seven DS9 episodes. Uh, this one was his first, although he did 25 TNG episodes. Um, oh, he passed away in February uh, 2014. He was 76 when he passed away. Uh, he also did 10 Voyager episodes. He did facets. That's where I worked with him. I did. I remember working on facets. Um, uh, I wasn't in facets. Season small. looks like. Yeah, and so there was. He did uh, this one, Dramatis Personae. I hope I'm saying that right. Cardassians, uh, the Collaborator, Equilibrium, Defiant, Explorers, and Facets. So this will be the first one we review that he wow. shot. Wow. That so he directed. He, he, he did Defiant. Uh huh. Yes. That's cool. Why? Yeah, Why I, I only say cool. I say that because of the piece of artwork that I I did, and I told you there's a message encoded in it, and uh, I took titles of different scripts and made mm. a a sentence, and the sentence was uh, the Forsaken duet progress far beyond the stars, defiant for the cause, and those are all titles of episodes, right? Right. And I I was explaining my relationship with Avery. So I, I guess we are the forsaken duet progressing far beyond the stars defiant mm-hmm. for the cause. You see? Right. And, and so I only say that defiant is one of the titles that I used for my sentence. And now that I know that Cliff Hall had a part of it, you mm-hmm. know, it's, it's just that much more uh, connected to it. Yeah, sure. That's cool. And very quickly for a, uh, for the the fans of Next Generation out there, a couple episodes of note he did twenty and, du- and duet is actually one of the uh, episodes we just uh, we're, we're, we're going to be going watching to talk about we're right about to, yeah shortly. yeah was, and I have so, a couple predictions for that episode well let's let's say what uh, Mr Bull did real yes. quick first before you get too <laughs> crazy there listen to some of these episodes that he did um, he did uh, the Ensigns of Command which is a great one he did the best of both worlds parts one and two that's you know, one of the best two parters in the history of Star Trek, certainly in Next Generation. Remember Me, which is a Beverly Crusher centric episode. I personally, I think it's the best Beverly Crusher episode. Uh, he did First Contact, which was written by a previous guest of ours, Mr. Mark Zickri. Mm-hmm. And, and Mark uh, just had a birthday. Yeah, he did. And he also happy did the, birthday to Mark. Happy birthday, Mr. Mark Zickri. He also did The Perfect Mate, uh, starring Famke Jansen. And Starship Mines, another great one. Anyway, about 25 of those, but those are the, the noteworthy ones, I'd say. Hmm. Those are Next Generation episodes. Mm-hmm. When are uh, we going to get to Next Generation? <laughs> uh, very shortly. We only have six more seasons of... Uh, <laughs> no, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're in our 80s. <laughs> yeah. So I like um, that original series. <laughs> I don't remember DS9. <laughs> got to go back Let's, and rewatch uh, it.